Alrighty. Um, so, forgive any slurring or anything. It's 3.38 in the morning. Uh, it's our first military expedition in K-179. And they were incredibly mean. Um, not unexpected. People who, who have far more experience with this than I do warned us that it was likely to be K-177 um, as one of the other kingdoms. Which really sucks because they opened to immigration already. So they have lovely people like, let me see if I can find that one. We've got a C-30 around here somewhere. Yeah, we've got the C-30. Uh, our strongest player is nowhere near that big. I mean, this guy's got 600 million might. How much of that is troop might? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh. over three, 350 million troop might. That's troops, all troops. And look at this guy's gear and gems and, and such. And yet, he's in the same Dragonia as as people who, who... I mean, this guy, he must be from an older kingdom. Who knows how long he's been playing. And he's in the same military expedition as castles that have only been in, in existence for less than two months. I hate the developers sometimes. I really do. Let's see. I'm currently hanging out in the western altar. Um, it was set up beforehand that if 177 was involved, they would get the altars, because, you know, we can't stand up against strength like that. Um, but as of yet, they haven't gone there. Of course, the agreement was also that they would leave the center alone, and as you can see, this guy is not. On the other hand, he's not part of the alliance that we were doing the negotiating with, uh, that somebody else was doing the negotiation with. I'll be honest, I had no part of that. Um, oh, wow. I'll give them that much. It looks like somebody from... Oh, yeah. That guy's really going to regret this. I don't know if he didn't hear about the agreement or what, but it looks like they're going to take police their own. So that's something, at least. Um... But anyway, yeah, so this is an incredibly unfair battle. Uh, I don't know if we're going to, um, let's see, who's that? Not so many TDO, I don't care about them. Uh, I've joined KBC temporarily for this event. Uh, currently, as I said, I'm, I'm in the Western Altar, uh, possibly later depending on uh what kind of damage they take from the other altars i may end up in the center um anyway aside from w whining about the unfairness um i think i mean honestly is whining really the wrong term this is incredibly effed up in my opinion your first dragonia should not, or your, your, your first military expedition should not include people like, like this guy. I mean, this is ridiculous. But, um, you know. Anyway, so compl complain to the developers. <laughs> you know, and it's funny because, uh, let's see if I can see that now. Um, grade rules, yeah. You can see that Kingdoms joining military expedition for the first and second times will start from the starter grade. So the idea is that we're not supposed to be up against people like this. But because of the rules regarding immigration, somebody in K-177 threw the door open to, the, to these massive castles, and now we're effed. And it's ridiculous, and, it, and the developers really should do something about that. But anyway, I'm going to stop whining about that. And instead, I'm going to show you the big difference uh, in 
how the rewards are done and everything, or, or how you, you know, see the rewards. Because if you'll remember in, or, and you can refer to the other video for this, um, there, in Dragonia War, there were, there were three tabs. There was the, the Vitality tab, there was the Occupation tab, and there was, I can't remember what they called the third tab. Um, but here, instead, we've got, we can see the, 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 Rewards that the king will be able to hand out depending on the level, which doesn't apply to us because we're in the starter level. Um, well, you know, these bigger ones. Um, presumably what they're showing here would be the starter. Let's double check that. There are bronze, two, three, four, five, six, six grades. And, oops, and we are seeing one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm not even sure even these rewards apply to us. So I don't know. Anyway, um, we, you know, showing off the rewards, the kingdoms involved, and just like in Valiant Conquest, if you wanted to go to another kingdom and fight there, you'd hit the attack button. Um, and then there's the personal reward, where, you know, once again, you can, um, okay, so here it, it does, so does it, okay, it's not showing us, ah, you have to scroll, okay, it's, it's, not even 4 a.m. I got less than five hours sleep. Forgive me. Oh, okay. Anyway. So, all right. We're in the starter. These are, these are points that we can get. Um, overall points, I guess, maybe, from, from all the different categories. Um, and then as you get a point... From killing enemy units, or from getting dead units, getting your own units killed, or from gathering, or from occupying an altar or Dragonia, you just come here and claim them. So, I mean, that that's, let's see, can you, like, time refreshes every minute, that's nice to know. Here's the points, I've got T9s, so every dead unit gets me 30 30 points, and same thing for every, if I were to kill a T9, I would get 30 points, so, and then the rank, we've got the personal ranks, and their rewards, uh, and then we've got the kingdom points, you can see we're lagging, not surprising, because we're the newest kingdom, um, and then Kingdom Trophy, uh, I don't know why they bother to show us this because I don't think it's even gonna, yeah, if you scroll, it only shows the top 100, which doesn't even get us out of the gold grade, so, yeah. Anyway, <sighs> excuse me, oh, it looks like I did get enough points finally to claim one of these. Uh, okay, so, so maybe that's another difference. As I said, brain slow, not really awake. Before you got rewards for every one of these levels that you finished, you know. So I would have already collected numerous rewards for achieving these levels. But... Now, instead, I'm just collecting the points, which get added to this total, and then as I reach these totals, I'll, I can act, I'll get the actual rewards. Okay, that's, that's what's going on there. So, anyway, um, so if you're currently in K179, and, and we are currently still in this event, uh, the agreement... Fox negotiated with 177 was that they would get the altars they wanted um, and we would be allowed to keep the center. Uh, if you are um, in K179, the current rules of engagement are... Yes, he's going for the center. He's not supposed to be doing that. Anyway, if you're in 
if you are a player in K-179, the current rules of engagement are don't attack the center. You can attack an altar held by somebody from 177 with up to 100,000 troops, no heroes. Um, I believe there wasn't, since you know they have T-10s and such, they don't care about troop level. And send whatever you want when it comes to that, T-9s if you prefer. Um, and then currently we still have the Western Altar, though I don't know how that's gonna la how long it's going to last. Um, but, so if you want, if you attack the altar held by KBC, then it would be 50,000 or fewer, T5 or lower, um, no heroes. So, all right, that, that's, that's the changes and everything. Uh. Good luck, and if you are in a kingdom that hasn't reached this point yet, uh, just keep that in mind. Um, and unless enough people complain, which isn't likely to happen because, you know, this comes up once, your, your first ME. Uh, the second one is after kingdoms open to occupation, or to immigration. Uh, so it's not likely people are going to bitch. But, and, you know, so... If you're in a kingdom that hasn't had your first true military expedition yet, bear, keep that in mind. Your first one's going to really suck. It's going to be the, the, the prior two kingdoms. And what the second one's going to be open already. And so really, you know, find, try and find the strongest alliance there and try and come to an agreement beforehand. That That's really the only option you have. Otherwise, um, you're going to end up... Uh, it's kind of funny, uh, 177 was actually occupied by a foreign alliance. They, they got somebody from 174, took their Dragonia last time. Um, so, anyway, that's how things change. Best of luck to y'all. I'm going to try and get some more sleep. <laughs>